I know, girl. Just give me a second. That should do it, girl. Okay, girl. Yeah. Who's there? It's Arthur. Look what the cat dragged in. Arthur. Dang, if you ain't bloody, Arthur. I thought you'd run off to join the oh, circus. Oh, hello, Arthur. This stew is decidedly hey, lacking on decent know. meat, Mr. Morgan. You worried your mother half to death. I was fine. Really, I was. I, I ate spaghetti. What? I have no oh, it's Italian food. Great. It's... I don't know how to explain. Was it nice? Yeah, really nice. And the Actually, I'll they come back to you later, okay? Everything was very, well, different. I slept in a bed in a room. Like a cage. No, no, no. More like a palace in a room. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Uh, you know, I'll just come back later. Hello, Arthur. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... 
I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want to... Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. My good, Bill. This is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. Girl? So? Who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. No, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew, just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellas. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Uh, Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. Well, uh, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. <laughs> you just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay, here we are. Over there. I'll get the explosives planted. Shit. Coach should be coming through any minute now. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them.
Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Getting it or not? How much we get, Cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Well, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon.
Easy now. Let's go, girl. Looking to sell your wares you and buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Thanks, mister. Hello again, mister. 
Walk around. Take your time. Sure, I'll take a look. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Much appreciated. Lighten's my load. Thanks, partner. Mister. Come on, my girl. Come on, Hello, mister. Line and stumbled in the flat iron lake like a gay Straight down. Please. I can't, Mary. Just like you couldn't marry me, and I couldn't change, and so on and so forth. I just cannot. Okay. Your father was horrible to me. I ain't gonna be his nursemaid. I understand. You... I... Be well, Arthur. I've really missed you, you know. I've missed you for a long time. But it's done now. Okay. know you mr well, i believe we've met we have at that ghastly party oh evelyn miller unfortunately so mr uh, arthur morgan at least sometimes uh, can i say something rude sure 
the mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls, and at the party you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been... Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling it! Of course it is doing! Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo! You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. Transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. There, all gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of harm, still avoiding magnetic mines. Well, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. 
Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of the dog. The rules of seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. 